Hello everyone, I'm Alexander Vakhushev, working at the Christian Doppler Laboratory for the Metallurgical Applications of the Magnetohydrodynamics here in Leoben in Austria, and I would like to present our joint work with the colleagues from University of Leoben, RHI Magnesita and Prime Metals, on the modeling of the viscoplastic behavior of the solidified shell and applied electromagnetic braking during continuous casting. I'll start my talk giving a short introduction into the continuous casting process and the electromagnetic braking, coming to the numerical models and the numerical setup. We'll present later on modeling results and summarize them in the conclusions. Continuous casting is a complex industrial process, which starts with the fresh melt in the ladles, which is fed to the continuous casting tandish. Here the flow turbulence is reduced and the primary cleaning of the non-metallic inclusions happens. Then the fresh melt is fed into the water-cooled copper mold. In the copper mold, a complex phenomenon of the turbulent flow and the primary shell growth happens. And there is a strong interaction between the fresh melt flow and the formation of the first solid. Thereby, continuous casting process is a combination of the complex multi-phase phenomena such as the turbulent flow, uh, heat transfer, formation of the solid shell, behavior of the free surface and the possible slack entrainment and complex motion of the non-metallic inclusions, gas bubbles, which can vary really from size of several micrometers up to several millimeters and of course for the real industrial process a question arises how we can control this complex multi-phase phenomena one of the modern and effective technologies in the continuous casting is electromagnetic braking it typically consists of the transversely applied magnetic field which, due to the action of the Lorentz force, reduces the penetration and the impact of the fresh melt jets. It stabilizes top surface and promotes the flotation of the non-metallic inclusions. In the presented study, we will focus on the interaction of the highly turbulent flow with the solidification front under the applied magnetic field. Next, we proceed to the numerical models to model solidification and its interaction with the magnetohydrodynamic effects. Shell withdrawal is very important to model solidification. It is included into the energy equation by means of Latin heat, release and advection term in the equation 3. Proper prediction of the solid phase velocities influences on the redistribution of the released latent heat and thereby on the solid shell thickness. Traditionally, some simplified approaches are used to predict solid phase velocities. The limitation of the traditional approach is that we neglect transient formation of the stresses in the solid shell. To overcome this limitation, we introduce into the momentum equation of the mixture type solidification model a viscoplastic stress tensor. It depends on the local strain rate and is described by Norton Hoff type deformation model. Apparent effective viscosity can be extracted for the viscoplastic stress tensor and it is defined by two rheological parameters. However, as it's shown on this diagram, we are limited for the steel alloys to this gray area. By solving corresponding momentum equation, we achieve mixture velocities, which are later on introduced into the energy equation to calculate corresponding latent heat release and advection term. Next, in the presented study, we would like to couple turbulent melt flow with solidification and the corresponding effects 
of the applied magnetic field. It is done by introducing corresponding Lorentz force, which is a cross product of the induced electric current and the total magnetic field. In the case of the continuous casting, where the magnetic Reynolds numbers are quite low, we can simplify the model with the electric potential method. It assumes that the total magnetic field equals to the applied one and the electric field can be substituted by the gradient of the electric potential. Next, the corresponding Poisson equation is constructed for the electric potential using conservation of the induced electric current. Important effect is that by varying the magnetic field, we get a squared influence on the Lorentz force. And finally, the numerical model is closed by corresponding boundary conditions for the electric potential. Finally, when the full coupling is done, the numerical simulation should be set up with the corresponding initial and boundary conditions for the flow, temperature and the magnetic field. The simulation domain consists of submerged entry nozzle, water-cooled copper mold and the secondary cooling zone of the slab. The numerical grid is constructed in such a way that we have a refined boundary layers to resolve the solidification front and corresponding magnetohydrodynamics boundary layers. Important settings are the boundary conditions for the solid velocities on the surface of the copper mold and the strength. Currently, they are defined by continuous casting speed. In the future, they will be substituted by slip boundary condition for the viscoplastic model, reflecting the real case when the solidified shell slides along the copper mold surface due to the lubrication by the slag skin. However, this problem is ill-possessed task and requires special numerical technique, especially in the finite volume formulation on the fixed grid. Solidification model is defined by the heat flux profile in the mold region, by the constant heat transfer coefficient in the secondary cooling zone, and by the corresponding solidification curve. The image defects are defined by the distribution of the magnetic field in the simulation domain. Alloy properties, casting conditions, and magnetic field settings are listed here in the table. Based on the presented settings and the numerical models, following results were obtained. Modeling results of the solidification typically represent the flow pattern on the left side and the distribution of the temperature on the right side. In the zoom view, you can see the formation of the thin layer of solidified shell. Typical simulation results of the image flow without considering solidification consist of induced electric current distribution on the left and the velocity field on the right. One can see quite strong damping of the turbulent structures at the top part of the mold where the magnetic field is the strongest and bending of the jets to the top surface. However, the flow shows quite unstable behavior. When the formation of the solid shell is considered, we can see on the left animation that the most of the electric current becomes quite symmetric and tends to go through the solid shell. Thereby, the flow pattern on the right becomes much more stable and not so much oscillations are observed. More detailed distribution of the induced electric current lines inside the shell and in the liquid bulk is shown on the top picture along with the magnetic field distribution and induced electric current magnitudes. Bottom pictures show overall change of the flow pattern without MBR and with the applied magnetic field when the impeachment of the hot jets is reduced and the flow becomes more uniform. The redistribution of the melt flow under the applied magnetic field leads to more even shell thickness in the MBR case, which is seen in comparison between left and right pictures of the shell thickness. 
is to show the most dramatic effect on the shell thickness comes from the applied electromagnetic braking. Additional effect comes from the application of the viscoplastic model. In the traditional approach, the motion of the solidified shell is prescribed and some overestimating of the solid shell remelting in the region of the central jet can be observed. When the viscoplastic model is employed, we observe more uniform solidification. However, shell growth also adopts to the flow oscillations and to the superheat redistribution. Application of the viscoplastic model in comparison to the traditional approach doesn't have such a dramatic effect as electromagnetic braking against the case without magnetic field applied. In the conclusions, I would like to refer to one of the most important findings of the presented study. If the presence of the highly conductive solid shell is ignored in the isothermal simulation, that leads to significant flow instabilities, since the induced electric current have to close through the liquid bulk, considering solidification during modeling of the electromagnetic braking, leads to partial flow stabilization which according to the measurements reflects the reality more accurate. Additionally, it should be coupled with the proper deformation model for the solid shell. Additionally, in the current study, it was shown that application of the viscoplastic model enhances the coupling between the fluid flow, superheat distribution and the growth of the solid shell, especially under applied magnetic field. For the future studies, a free slip boundary condition will be applied on the surface of the copper mold and the strand to reflect real behavior of the solid shell in the continuous casting. I kindly appreciate your attention and wish you staying healthy this time.